Everyday Jesus, a program specially made for you wonderful kids because we know you love to worship, to study, and learn the Word of God. Now, can we do it again? Let's say to worship, to study, and learn the Word of God. Great job, kids. So to begin, we will start with a prayer. Can we have our prayer magnets? Yes! And let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this wonderful day that you have given us. I pray that you will give us wisdom and understanding so that we will be able to apply all of the things that we will be learning today. We love you so much, Lord, and we worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen! He's the best! So right now, let's all stand up and let's worship with Everyday Jesus! Hello kids, it's time to worship yeah. the Lord today, so why don't we all stand up? One, two, three! Woo. Are you ready to worship Jesus today, kids? Yeah. Woo! Oh yeah! Here we go! Everyday Jesus, I will praise you everyday Jesus, I will worship you everyday Jesus, I will love you everyday Jesus. Let's lift him up because he is worthy, he is awesome, and he is wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, let's rejoice in the Lord, and let's shout joyfully unto our God. Come on. Our God is lifted up, makes the shouts of joy. Our God is lifted up in the sounding of the trumpet. Our God is lifted up, makes the shouts of joy. Shout joyfully unto our God. Our 
all the glory. We love you, Lord. In yes, Jesus' God. name we pray. Amen. Amen. Peace the I know you enjoyed our praise and worship time with Pastors Pam and Gary. And I also know you know what time is it, right? It's our Bible story time. So please get your Bibles, your notebooks, and of course, your favorite pens. And once you have them all with you, can you help us store remember our rule time for today? Rule number one, hands behave. Rule number two, eyes watchful. Rule number three, ears listening. And rule number four, mouth silent. Great job, kids. Now for our Bible story for today, we will be opening our Bibles to Luke chapter 1, verses 39 to 45. Now kids, can you please get your Bibles and open it to Luke chapter 1, verses 39 to 45? And let's read. In those days, Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country to a town in Judah, and she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. And when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the baby leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit, and she exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why is this granted to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For behold, when the sound of your greeting came to my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. Wow! Amazing Bible story, right kids? We have seen that Mary, the mother of Jesus, visited Elizabeth, who was with child herself. When Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the child in her womb leaped. She said that Mary was blessed because she believed what the Lord said to her. The word blessed here means happy. Kids, did you know? What? This story teaches us that we will be happy if we believe that God will do what He has promised in our lives. Kids, do you believe that God's promises will come to pass in your life? Yes! Yes? Well, that is awesome because God is faithful and a promise keeper. Now, kids, can you follow Pastora in this very simple action word? Can we say... Believe God's promises and be happy. Can we do it again? Can we say, believe God's promises and be happy? Can we do it the last time? Can we say, believe in God's promises and be happy? Great job, kids! So right now, you know what time is it, right? It's our question and answer time. So please get your notebooks and of course your pens. And you can always write down the correct answers so that once we're back in Children's Church, we can give you extra tickets for every correct answers. So are you ready? Great! So now let's go to our question number one. Whom did Mary visit in the story? Whom did Mary visited in the story? Done, kids? Very good. Now let's go to our question number two. True or false? Believe God's promises and be happy. True or false? Believe in God's promises and be happy. Done, kids? Awesome! So now let's go to our question number three. Fill in the blanks. Blank in God's promises and be blank. Blank in God's promises and be blank. Here's the clue, kids. Got it? 
<laughs> Great job! So now let's go to our question number four, which is of course our application for today. Kids, remember 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20? It says there, For no matter how many promises God has made, they are yes in Christ. And so through Him, the Amen is spoken by us to the glory of God. Everyday kids, let's read our Bibles so we can be reminded of the wonderful promises of God in our lives. So let's always remember to believe in the promises of God so that we can be happy. So I think that's it for our Bible story for today. And I hope you learned a lot. We'll see you again next time, kids! Jesus. Joyful, joyful, we adore you, God of glory, Lord of love. Hearts and full like clouds before you, opening to the sun above. Melt the clouds. Melt the clouds of sin and sadness, drive the dark. Give you.
this is Pastora Pat, and welcome to Incredible Facts segment. Today, Pastora will be sharing with you three incredible facts about Mary. So this is based on my today's Bible story. So, here's incredible fact number one. Mary was chosen. Mary was living a righteous life. And then, she found favor in the eyes of the Lord and was chosen to become the mother of Jesus. An angel delivered this good news to her and was also told about the favor that she received. Mary was highly favored and was chosen among all the other women to be the mother of Jesus. Mary was chosen. That's incredible fact number one. Here's incredible fact number two. Mary was given an important task. Mary had to do a very important task for God, and that was to be the mother of Jesus and to raise him up as her own son. Wow, that is one very, very important task God gave to Mary. It is so important that even an angel came to her to relay this message. Mary was given an important task. That's incredible fact number two. Here's incredible fact number three. Mary obeyed. God gave Mary a very important task. And it can be overwhelming for some, but as for Mary, she wholeheartedly accepted and obeyed this command. She was about to get married to Joseph, and having the baby might make her marriage impossible. But that did not stop Mary from accepting God's assignment to her. She called herself a servant of God. And as God's servant, she obediently followed. Mary obeyed. That's incredible fact number three. So, those are the three incredible facts that we have from our Bible story for today. First, Mary was chosen. Second, Mary was given an important task. And third, Mary obeyed. So, I guess that's it for now for our incredible facts segment. I hope that you learned a lot, kids. See you! Hi, kids! I am Pastor Jai, and this is our Bible Explorer segment. So for today, we are going to have some fun in our experiment so that we can further understand what the Bible is telling us. Now, are you ready to explore with Pastora? Yes! Yeah. Well, me too! So come, let's go explore! Whoop. In our experiment today, we are going to learn that we can be a blessing to other people. Who among here wants to be a blessing to other people? Great! Then let us learn from our experiment. In our experiment for today, we'll have a glass of water, an arrow, and these two descriptions, the impossible and the possible. God taught us in His Word in 2 Corinthians 9 verse 11, You will be enriched in every way, to be generous in every way, which through us will produce thanksgiving to God. But sometimes, we tend to look at what we have right now, and it seems impossible to help others. For example, you wanted to help your classmates who's having a tight budget in the family and cannot buy a new set of shoes because his shoes are already wearing off. But as you look at your wallet, uh-oh, your budget is not enough. Hmm, do you think it will be already impossible to be a blessing to your classmate? What should you do? Of course, it will not be impossible to be a blessing to other people. Therefore, little by little, try to be generous, save up for your classmates' need, and be a blessing. As you see, it is very possible to be of help to those who are in need. This reminds us of being generous to our brothers and sisters who are also in need. We can do this through our daily mana seed bottles. Remember, we can always be generous, be blessed, and be able to honor God when we are willing to give wholeheartedly. Whoop. So kids, there you have it for our exploration for today. Did you have some fun? Yes! Well, me too! It's very fun to learn the Bible! 
So, that's it for our Bible Explorer segment for today. I hope to get to see you again next time. God bless! Hi kids! I'm Ate Casey. Today we are going to learn a new dance. Our song for today is entitled, Joyful, Joyful. May I invite you to stand up? One, two, three! Very good! We will be learning the chorus part of the song. The steps goes with the lyrics. You are the one who sings. You are the one whose hands lift us from the grave. Ready? Five, six. You are the one who sings. You are the one who sings. You are the one whose hands lift us from the grave. The next part. The steps goes with the lyrics. You are the light of life. The everlasting day. You are the one who takes all our sins away. Ready? From here. Five, six. You are the light of life. The everlasting day. You are the one who takes all our sins away. One more time. From here. Five, six. You are the light of life. The everlasting day. You are the one who takes all our sins away. Let's do that from the top. Five, six. You are the one who saves. You are the one who saves. You are the one whose hands lift us from the grave. You are the light of life. The everlasting Sting day. You are the one who takes all our sins away. Now, let's do that with music. Did you enjoy that, kids? And you did a great job! Psalm 149 verse 3 says, Praise His name with dancing, accompanied by tambourine and harp. Let's dance as we worship the Lord together! Hi kids, this is Pastora Armira. Are you ready to learn a new memory verse song today? Yes! Yes, our verse for today is Psalm 150 verse 6. Repeat after me. Say Psalm 150 verse 6. Very good. And the song goes something like this.
good kids? Did you enjoy that song today? Yes! I did too. Well, that's it for our memory verse song today. This is Pastora Armira. See you again next time! Welcome back, kids! So I hope you enjoyed a lot and learned from our episode today. So right now, we will be praying. Do you still remember our three prayer requests? Yes! First, we will be praying for our government and church leaders alike that God will give them wisdom and understanding so that they can always make the best decisions for the people. Second, we will be praying for your families, that God will always keep them safe, and that God will always bless the work of the hands of your parents. And third, we will be praying for you, wonderful kids. What do you want Jesus to do for you? As for us, you know our prayer request for you always is that you will continuously grow in the fear and the knowledge of the Lord, you will always be productive, and you will always be a blessing to the people around you. So are you ready to pray? Yes! Yeah. Let's have a prayer magnets and let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for all of the things that we have learned today. Right now we pray for our government and church leaders alike, that you will give them wisdom and understanding so that they can always make the best decisions for the people. Lord, I also pray for our families, that you will always keep them safe, that you will keep them away from any kinds of harm, especially, Lord, from any kinds of sicknesses. And Father, we pray that you will continuously bless the work of the hands of our parents. Lord, right now, we also pray for these wonderful kids, that you will continuously make them productive in everything that they do, that they will grow more in the fear and the knowledge of the Lord, and that they will always be a blessing to the people around them. Thank you so much, Lord, and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. He's the best. So that's it for Everyday Jesus Today, kids. See you again next time.